Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another Versus video. I'm Brad Nelson. Today, I'm joined with Todd Anderson. And thanks for coming and joining us and uh, watching this because we're at Fate Reforged right now. You could just, you know, click to the other channel and watch. Don't tell them to click to the other channel. But it's the Pro Tour. It's us. Oh, we're yeah. at the Pro Tour. Y you could probably dual screen, like, while they're... While they're doing all the they take a stuff, lot of like, breaks, like the magic R and D stuff, you can just switch back. I mean, they're watch watching this. this when the timer says join us back in like ten minutes, but it's yeah. been fifteen. Yeah. But anyway, today we're going to be playing some standard from two weeks ago, uh, where Gerard Fabianu destroyed Danny Goldstein in the finals of the Open, where we both got destroyed really bad. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. went six and seven. Well, uh, I should not have dropped at four and three, but I did. You shouldn't have. Because I thought this deck that we played was really bad. And it wasn't the greatest. That you also good. made it worse. We were kind of like, you know, like Goldilocks. That's kind of what I do. I, I mean, it was Goldilocks, right? Like, I was like, this deck's too bad. And Todd's like, this deck's great, but really bad. And BBD's like, this deck's just right. Yeah. For a ninth place finish again. I've never met a guy that's ever well, done that. Well, to be fair, starting off O2 is a little, a little tough on yeah. the breaks. So. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to be playing the two decks that made the finals. Uh, they both look pretty interesting and could define where the format's going from here on out. Uh, this weekend's also regionals. So. Um, I do think that both these decks look like they're they're great for the format. Like Rakshasha Secret seems like a really weird card, but it fuels your graveyard for your delve stuff. And these red white decks don't like losing card advantage. Like, yeah, they really don't. Like see, like uh, e even if it's like the Jeskai Ascendancy version or the red white versions, like they need all their resources to deal twenty damage. So if you can like strip them from them, they have a mentor and they have no cards in hand. That's great. Yeah, I mean there there's a lot to be said. Like even when you're on the draw of like. Turn two, casting Bob Blight -like to kill their creature, and then untapping and making them discard, discard two cards. Like they're either discarding like their fourth land, so they can't you know like cast two spells in one turn, or they're discarding like you know two spells, which is usually pretty good too. So yeah, but anyway, uh, we're gonna see how this matchup actually plays out, uh, along with trying to figure out you know moving forward if these are the the decks that people should be playing because. You know, even though I didn't think Mentor was that good, it well, found its way to the finals. Because it it's insane. You didn't think it was good either. I thought it was fantastic. I thought oh, we did should you? play Jeskai Tokens, and you quickly dismissed it. Well, we also were destroying those decks with Doomwake Giants. Yeah, see, okay, we'll talk about this later. Go okay, we'll talk right. about this off camera. Yeah. Because there's going to be a lot yelling. of yelling. Yeah. Yep, all right. Anyway, let's try to beat Todd. Okay, I'm on the play here for game one, and my hand is pretty phenomenal. Uh, we got some lands and some stuff to do with them, so we're happy to keep. That's exactly what my hand is. Cool. All right, let's start with the field palace and say go. Oh, uh, see, I can scry. Well, I could have scry. scryed, but. Oh, sure. All right, I don't think we need any lands with this hand, and we'll eventually draw some anyway, so. All right, so I'm going to start off here with a thought seize, and before I play my scry land, so I kind of know what he's in the mood for doing and then uh, that'll help me make my scries a little bit better. Alright, so the way our hand looks, uh, we don't actually have a removal spell, uh, but we do have uh, this thing that we can do in a few turns. So what I think we want to do is take the card that's going to hit us hardest early and I think that just means taking raise the alarm so we're just going to do that. I'm going to go to 18. And then I'll play a Temple of Malade. Uh, we already have one of those, so we'll put it on bottom. Here we go. Okay. All right. We'll pass the turn. All right. Uh, play Seder Wayfinder. Get a little deeper in our deck. Hopefully find something good. Um, well, I have all my colors, so I don't, I'm not going to take the Delta since it'll deal me some damage. We'll put these in the yard. I'll play this and say go. All right. Uh, we're going to take damage here and just play Outburst. I don't want to just throw a, a Mentor out there with no mana up so that he can just easily kill that. So yep. I'll get three Cedrics and take a damage. 19 to 18. Okay. All right. Well, we keep drawing some lands here, but it's not so bad. Uh, we're going to play this, so any future lands we draw won't... Uh, deal us any damage if we don't want them to. Hmm. Alright, well. Block one. Yep. Uh, so you're going to go to 16. Yeah. And... 
guess there's no real point in. Hmm. I think this might be the best play for the fact that now, uh, if we do get uh, blown up by a removal s or a, a mass removal spell, we want to be able to use this to protect these tokens. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna play a mentor and pass the turn. Okay, I'm gonna cast dig through time. That's a fast dig through time. Yeah, wayfinder is good like that. All right. Well, we have a couple different options here. Um, I kind of want to take disdainful stroke. Like, I, I know the list. And I know there's not a lot of targets for it, but I think at this juncture, uh, something like soak the flames would be really good. Um, but I could just take two big business spells, and uh, hope that that's good enough. So, I'm probably just going to take these two and put these on the bottom. All right, untap, draw, and I'll play Crux on non-dragons. Yep. There you sure go. All right, so draw, go to 20, sure. and I'm going to play an outburst. All right. Taking another pain down to 19. Combo turn. Draw. Hmm. Well, we know he has uh, a lightning strike in hand, so I guess it was foolish to take the Kiora. He also has the, uh, what's the... Collateral damage. Yeah, collateral damage. But I guess we can just uh, play another Wayfinder. We'll take Temple of Malady. I'll play this in Seiko. We'll draw. Mm. That'll been better later on. Block one. Yep. Put you at 14 and pass the turn. I'll cast another dig through time. Ugh. One, two, three, four. Now I we're just looking for. Or do you want to do something while I'm tapped out? Yeah, I'm going to stoke you. Alright, sure. I go to 10. 10. Or I. The, the best proper play is let him dig through time and then sure, stoke him. Sure, sure, sure. So pretend that you're at 14. That's fine. All right, well, uh, I'll just take the two big business spells here since, uh, again, he just played the stoke, so the stroke's prob probably not very good. Uh, I know he has collateral damage, so Bob Light's not that great either, so. Well, I meant it as in I was going to stoke you after dig through time. Sure, sure. I mean, but even still. Yeah, stoke's not that good of a card in the matchup. Yeah. All right, we'll play Garrick and make a beast, and sure go. Get to make a turd, Anderson. <laughs> mm. It is not the best thing to see in the world. What are you talking about? It's great. All right. You get a bunch of me's. Mm. So we have to figure out the best way to. Uh, I mean, if we end up dealing with this Garrick, we're probably not winning anyway, which kind of sucks. So we have to just hope he doesn't have a mass removal spell and just like maybe limp our way through this game. So I think the best line is actually lightning strike Todd. Seven? No, this Todd. Oh, there's a couple of those. <laughs> Put you at eight. All right. And then I'm going to take a pain and play outburst. Man. All right. So you go to 19 again? Yeah. Mm, all right. I'm at 18 now. I've taken a pain before. Yeah, but you gained a life off the... Uh, no, I got them all appropriately. Okay. All right, your turn. Alrighty. Well, I guess we'll play another dig through time while he's tapped out and try to find a Bob Blight. Make sure that's correct. Right. Blue. Black, black. Alright, let's get something good. Is it uh, not better to uh, do it this way? No. Why? Because I can tap this for black because I have an herb work. Oh, where's your herb work? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we found something, but it might not be good enough to let us survive through the next turn. Um, so we can kill a token and go up to eight or to nine, take four down to five, 
And then he has the you have two cards, so he has collateral yeah. damage and hopefully not another burn spell. Uh, we can also play Hero's Downfall. Hmm. All right. Well, we will take uh, these two, I guess. I'm gonna look at them. All right. Put these on bottom. What I've learned about Dig Through Time is the first time someone cast it in playtesting, I thought that that card was like gonna be Sphinx's Rev because I was so used to that, but that card is just not Sphinx's Rev. Oh no, jeez. I mean, can't cast a Sphinx Rev on turn four for a lot of value, but. All right, I will play a Scry bottom. And this might be loose, but I'm gonna eat a token and gain a life. Sure, so put you at nine. Yeah, and then while he's tapped out, I'm going to uh, downfall a token. Wow. All right. Here we go. So now he has to have just uh, another two three damage. Yeah, so. two three damage burn spells, but he can also kill Garrick. But well, I do not. But I'll kill Garrick. All right, he's dead. So your turn. All right. Well, now we are probably going to win very easily from here. Oh, <laughs> zero Ugin. Oh no. All right. Well. Deal your three. All right, we'll go to six. By sacking one of the Cedrics. Uh, scry. Ooh, that was a good card. All right, we'll leave that on top. Uh, mentor. Yep. Go. I will Rakshash a secret you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> See how good this card is. Make him indestructible. Okay. And I don't, do we have a... I'm, I'm just going to zero, or I'm going to neg. I know, but I should still it. just have it, yeah. All right, so I'll mill two. Two I didn't want. All right, and then I'll minus three down to four. Yep. Uh, play Kiora, tick up. Targeting your winds or temple, and I don't know if I'll play the land yet. Go. Draw. Uh, tick up and three you. Yeah, I'm at right. fifteen. Uh, go. Go. I will draw two and discard one. Sure. Okay. Tap, draw, uh, send this to five. I'm at 12. Send this to eight. Rakshas to secret you. Raise the alarms. Okay. And the mm -hmm. other one? And then I'll bob blades to Sure. Here we go. All right. It had to be a burn spell. Yeah. All right. So we are all agreeing that I am missing one very important thing, but if I find it, we have a good chance in this game. Okay. Uh, my side, it's a little landlight, but uh, and a little slow because they're coming in play tapped, but hopefully the Seder Wayfinder digs us out of it. So. Scry, top, go. Alright, that's pretty good. Uh, scry here. Uh, we, I guess we need this just to keep the, yeah, we'll keep that. Alright. Alright. And we'll go to 21 and pass the turn. Okay. And, uh, huh. Got a lot of options here. I think I just want to see what he's doing, make sure I can get all my lands and untapped. So, oh, yeah, we're probably going to take that. Maybe. Mm. All right. So we got Mentor, two Rabble, two Strike, and the Planes. Take the Planes. Thinking about it. Um, yeah, I guess we'll take a rebel. Yeah, yeah. Losing the first rebel, I mean, <laughs> losing any rebel master on the play is always bad in these matchups. But always being able to go rebel into rebel is so good. Yeah. All right. So I'm pretty sure that this rebel master is going to die, but it is going to eat up Todd's turn. Yeah. All right. Nineteen. We are just going to go ahead and use a Soul Tide Charm to kill it. And yep. go. Okay. How do we want to play out this turn? We can just play a Mentor, which would force Todd to kill it. Uh, but we'll attack for one, put you at 18. Uh, should be 17 Thoughtsies and then the Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, no, attack 16 points. actually. Yep, 16 Thoughtsies and two, yeah. Yep. All right. I actually think protecting the, the mentor in our hand is better than not, so I'm just going to play a. Sure. Soulfire Grandmaster and best turn. 
Brutes. Or, sorry. Uh, pre combat. Wayfinder. Wayfinder. And lots of lands, so it's good to get those off the top of my deck now that we have plenty. So I'll just take the Urborg. I'll play it and say go. Alright, All right, attack you. I will block here and. Okay. And I guess Muncher's probably going to die too, but we're going to put him on the board. Your okay. Turn. I will attempt to murderous cut it. He has been cut. And then I'll play Ashiok and tick up. Ugh. Oh, nothing. <clears throat> Alright, that's fine. Uh, Skyland, top. I'm going to keep this one, I think. Yeah, I should go. Hmm. Well, let's try it again. <laughs> Go. Right, uh, tick up. And uh, you have Rabble a Rabble Master. Dude. There we go. That's a good one. That can kill me fast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, while he's tapped out and uh, can't More make removal. a token, I'm just going to bob light it. Sorry. Uh, play this. Here we go. Uh, well, there was a card we needed for the mentors before, but uh, now we'll just pass the turn. Draw. I will go to four and make a route mess in pre combat. Yeah, I'll strike it. Okay, he's dead. And I'll play this and take it. All right, okay, so the alarm. Fine. You have one card in hand? I do. Is his name Ugin? Because <laughs> you have seven mana. <laughs> All right, uh. I don't really know how we're supposed to win this game, but I can see Ashiok getting a little annoying if he hits like a mentor. But we're already we're already out of two of those and three of our rabbles, so there's not a lot of creatures actually left in our deck that he could hit. We could probably just ignore the Ashiok from here on out. Right, I think that's our best chance of winning and pass the turn. What if I get a Soulfire Grandmaster and can't activate? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I have the cost blue. Ooh. Yeah, could dig through time and get it back. All right, uh, six. Yep. Yeah. And with. All right, uh, Temple Scry. That's a, that's a fresh to death one, son. You <laughs> 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 I don't know what that means. Oh, you'll see. All right. Because I'm casting it next turn. <laughs> All right, that's that's pretty good. His last card in his hand could easily be Disdainful Stroke. Uh, I just never had a target. It's like Ugin or Disdainful Stroke. And I don't know if we would just want to play into it, but if he has mana for the rest of the game, he's just always going to have mana for the rest of the game. All right, well, we're going to attack you. All right, I'm at 12. This is a really tough decision. I really do feel like that card is pro that that's the best option is land or disdainful stroke. Um, but the way his lands have been sequenced, hmm. I will pass the turn. All right. Drop. Mill. All right. No creature. Man. There's not many in the deck. I know. I know. I will cast this interpret the signs that is fresh to death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's whiff. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm good. I would rather not whiff. All right, scary three. Yeah, it's, it's six mana. Oh, sorry, one more. Uh, scry three. Come on. I don't know if this is a troll or not. Is it like oh, downfall and other removal? It's like two two drops in a land, and I. And you don't want to bottom. I don't want to bottom and whiff. I did it on camera before. I know. It's worth it. Because the moment that that dig through time is on top of your deck. Yeah, we'll just. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Now I'm just dead. Go. Oh. All right. Well, he has shown me all the information he's going to fetch. So I think. We can start pulling a lot of triggers. Okay. Uh, and just so we don't get, yeah, I don't want to, 
uh, get secreted, so I'm just going to shoot you. All right, I'm at nine. Nine. All right, draw, attack you. All right, I take you go to four five. Out of five. Now, if he draws Ugin, naming dragons is terrible, but if he draws... We can leave him by not being able to wrath us. Crux of Fate? Yeah, he can't fetch uh, and Bile Blight or Crux of Fate, so I am going to name dragons and hope he just doesn't rip Ugin. Yeah, I mean, I have to try to draw something. Yeah. Uh, just dragon Island, I guess, since I have the Urborg. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm drawing pretty thin here to that card, so... Yeah, I, I considered keeping the Disdainful Stroke, but I absolutely would not have unless you had, like, talked about it, so I just... That's why I just bonded all three. Sure. Alright. Cut. Alright. I suppose you did so much work for us. <laughs> I mean, it colded... It did. It, it colded, colded every, out, like, so. almost every out. <laughs> All right, so on my side, uh, I am on the play next game, so I'm going to be cutting these Thought Seizes and bring in the Gates, and uh, this is going to help both in the early game to take care of things like uh, Raise the Alarm and uh, Horling Outburst, but uh, later in the game, hopefully, it'll be able to counter some Stoke the Flames or random Burn Spells that are trying mm -hmm. to finish the game off. Um, when we're on the draw, I think it's better to bring back in the Thought Seizes so that I have a, an earlier chance to deal with a Rabble Master, uh, since a lot of my lands come into play tapped. Uh, we're also bringing Salumgar, Polukronos in uh, as ways to help fend off the tokens and alternate win conditions, since our Planeswalkers are so bad in this matchup. Uh, Kiora is pretty bad against token-based decks, Ashiok as well, and Garrick is just a little bit too slow and doesn't affect the board as much as I need him to, uh, need him to, uh, need him to do. Uh, sorry, uh, d two disdainful strokes coming out because there's very few targets, and then we're also bringing in Freakus Cures, uh, Drowns, and Tassigers as uh, giant creatures that he doesn't really have a whole lot of ways to interact with other than, uh, I guess, just uh, uh, Valor Stance. Valor Stance. Which so. is the worst card in my deck game, one against a deck like uh, Gerard's, but uh, Danny didn't prepare for this matchup, so he doesn't have anything in the sideboard for it. Also, I don't think we're supposed to change that many things. Uh, collateral damage is a perfect answer to cards like Freakas Cure uh, and things like that. So uh, I'm just not going to change anything, which is the first for me in a versus video. All right, I'm on the play here for game three, and this hand is pretty decent against a Rebel Master draw, so we're definitely going to keep it. Well, I don't have a Rebel Master. Oh, okay. All right, we'll lead off with a Temple of Deceit. It's a good one on top. We'll keep it. Here you go. I have a Rabble Master. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, continue with the lands coming aboard tapped, and it should yeah. go. All right. I'll play a Seeker of the Way. Your turn. Mm. All right. Well, even though we don't get to play our lane that comes in play tapped, I think it's safer just to play this one, and I'll say go. All right. So lots of open mana. Don't know what he's going to do with it all. Could be anything. Could be. Uh, we're definitely going to want to dump on the board. Now, one of the, the problems playing against uh, black based decks after sideboard is I always think, like, how many Drown and Sorrows do they have? But I'm not going to get the job done just attacking with Seeker the way the entire way. So I'm going to play a Horlin Outburst and see what happens. Uh, that will resolve. You might have, to, if you have yeah. Cure, you might have to Cure first. I think I don't think I'm gonna care. I think I'm just gonna downfall him. Sure. Take, take zero. Go ahead. All right, so I'm just gonna scry here. Another land. I don't think we need that right now. So we'll put that on bottom. Sure go. Hmm. All right. Let's think this through. Todd, Downfall Seeker could play something big and scary here soon. Could have another removal spell. We have a lot of different aggressive options, including even holding one token back to get the Seeker into play and protect it with Soak the Flames. But, uh, you know, my gut wants to just like jam a Rabble Master, but that is going to die. Uh, and maybe we can get an extra token out of it later in the game. Might not die. Might not. <laughs> but uh, 
I do feel like one of the safest plays. Now, now I don't think he has drowned anymore because he would have just drowned this board. This was yeah. this was plenty to drown. So I'm going to attack for three. All right, we'll take three. Yeah, you're at 17. Yep. And I'm going to play secret of the way and pass the turn. Because this also is scary to look at from mm -hmm. drown mana. I will soul tie charm help. Yep. Tip, draw. I'll play wayfinder. I will take a temple of melody. I will scry. Well, that's a pretty good one. I will play a Tessiger delving fork. Interesting. And hope he doesn't have. Uh, I shall keep the bob light in the yard. Here we go. Okay. All right, so you're at 17. That is true. And you have three cards? Mm-hmm. All right, well, he would have to invest a lot of mana into that Tazgar. This turn, I just think we're going to do uh, Rebel Master's secret ability. Let a guy die. <laughs> right. um, yeah, I I want to take as little damage as possible, and I don't think I'm going to use Tassiger's ability, so I'm just going to block two of them and yep. take two down to 15. And pass the turn. Right. Well, it's good I'm for gonna, me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually hold a land. Okay. Well, it's good for me that um, uh, this did not die to a Valorous stance, uh, which means that this is going to be around to block or even attack for at least a little while. Um, all right, so we have two in the yard. This is three. Freakus Cure is going to be four. Mm. All right, we'll play Cure on this. Yep. And right, I'll gain two up to 17. And then I'll fetch a Swamp. All right, it's going to go down to 16. And I can either use Tasker's ability or dig through time. And how many cards do you have? I have two. All right. So I'm just going to pass turn and see what he does and then make my decision at the end of this turn. All right, attack with two tokens. Probably going to get hit with Stoke, but we don't mind that too much. Uh, I'll block. Yep. You go to 15? Yep. All right. <sighs> Cast outburst. Sure. And then stoke it. All right. I will activate his ability. Is that the best play? I think so. I mean, I. I guess so. I can makes your now. Thing I can cheaper. just dig for like two next yeah, turn. Yeah, that's true. So all right. So negate Seder Wayfinder, Freakus Cure, or Bow Blight. I uh, want my tokens to do as much damage as possible, but he also has two cards, so it could wrath, and the gate could get annoying, so I guess I just give you the worst card, which is a Seder Wayfinder, okay. even though that blocks one of my guys and makes your digs all better. Alright, I will just stealth six and dig your time. Okay. Come on, Bob Light. Seven. Well, that's an interesting one. Uh, so I'm at 15. I think that these two cards will be the ones that I end up with here. Uh, even though putting a dig on bottom seems kind of bad, but these cards are both really good in this matchup. So, all right. I will just cast. Actually, I'll eh, kind of want a Wayfinder and a Drown Sorrow, but that seems bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll just drown these guys away. Yeah. All right, scry one. I'll leave that one on top. Here we go. Go. All right, I'll cast Slumgar and sure go. Oh, you can't beat that card? Is that can't beat it. <laughs> <laughs> That card does a very good job at beating red-white tokens. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, so for game four, while on the draw, I'm going to bring the Thoughtseizer back in to help out against Rowell Masters, uh, trimming on the negates and one of the murderous cuts since these are a little slow on the draw, and I'm putting a lot of taxation on my graveyard with Tassiger and Dig Through Time. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm on the play with what looks to be one of the best hands you can have with the deck, so. <laughs> <laughs> Rats. All right, well, let's hope we make it to turn five, I guess. Doubtful. Well, I mean, the deck's not that aggressive. 21. No, not at return. all. Not even a slightly bit. All right, uh, Temple Scry, looking for removal. That's not bad. Here. All right. Huh. Well, in this situation, we want to just do this. Uh, so we're going to Scry. What I got there? Go. All right. Uh, just to play around Rebel Master, we're going to play that instead of this other thing. All right, we will fetch Bob White. Go into 19. It's going to be a 19 either way. Might as well kill him. But now you don't have blue mana. I got blue mana in my hand. You don't worry about what I got. Mm. All, right. All right, not a bad draw. Tim, all right, straight away finder. We'll find an island. And I'll play this. Here we go. All right. Rob Master. Block. All right, go for it. Cards in hand, four. Rock Shasha Secrets in hand. <laughs> yeah, we'll play that. Ooh, the Rebel Master stays alive. It's true. All right, well, I think... I'm not going to show Brad the cards I mill yet, because order of operations. Yeah. I think we want to keep these in case the top card of our library is a land, and if it is, it makes these two cards be better together. So, yeah, I'm going to discard a Soul Fire Grandmaster and a Lightning Strike. All right, so I milled over a Thought Seize and a Wayfinder, and okay. then I'll scry, put a land on bottom, and sure you go. Whew. Get to deal damage. Attack you for four. All right, 15. Go. I really hope he doesn't have... Actually, that's not bad at all. We could just do that instead. Actually, I like that way better. Alright, so I'm going to play a Tessiger. Delving 4. Uh, let's get rid of the stuff we don't want back in our hand. Uh, so, let's get rid of these three. I guess we're also secrets. Alright, and here we go. Hmm. I don't think we're going to put a creature on the board since we have like a rabble master getting work done. And, but he could have a negate, which could be annoying. Uh, all right, so let's go to untap, draw. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go to combat. I will try to kill this guy. All right. Oh, and you have three cards? Mm-hmm. Uh I'm going to let that happen. Okay. Second man, I'm going to play a, a mentor. Okay. And probably look like an idiot in front of a camera. Nah. I mean, I'm playing very strangely, so I, I don't hate what you're doing. Uh, we're going to cast Interpret the Signs. Okay. Scry 3. I will put one on the bottom. Two on top, and I'll draw six. Okay. All right, and I have to move to discard. Uh, before you do that, I'm going to take a pain and kill that and get a soldier. Yep. And we I don't have the prowess guys yet. Yeah. Yeah, one card in hand. Yeah. I kind of need this land, I guess. I'll. Discard a Sultai Charm. Okay. Here we go. All right. 
Well, we really needed that card to do some work for us. So, we're attacking for four right now. We can make it six if we just cast a spell. And he just drew six cards. And he's just going to kill our guys. We have no control over the game anymore. So we should just make this lightning strike deal two more damage. Um, so you're going to take a total of nine this turn. Going to drop into six. Okay. And pass the turn. All right. I will kill all non-dragons. Yep. And then Do you believe that that's every creature I have? <laughs> Is Cedric a dragon? I will play uh, Tumble of Malady. Don't really want that thought seize. And sure, go. Go. Alright, just get my beats on. Scry. Bottom, go. Go. Could potentially kill us with burn spells here, so we gotta be a little careful. Kill what? Kill us. Oh, with burn sure. spell. 17. And I'll play a Polychronos and pass. Alright. Megma Jetu. That's results. I'm at four. Alright. Top, bottom. Stoke you. I will freak us cure my Slumgar and go to two at the Cheater! end. Of the Cheater! Cheater! <laughs> <laughs> go! I actually tapped this wrong, sorry. Alright, I'm gonna dig through tap. Tell me when you get a, anything that makes you not die to Stoke. Okay. Because you're at least one play. Drawn live for Stoke? Yeah, currently. Sweet. Yeah, I boarded out the negate, so I actually don't have. And the uh, disabled strokes. So I actually. Oh, Cure was your only answer? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's gross. Hey. <laughs> Had it. <laughs> one, two, three, nine. All right, tech for eight. Yep. Put you to nine. Were there two Stokes on top? I didn't even see where you. No, scared. I went top bottom. Okay. Um. I, yeah, go. I guess. Aww. <laughs> I drew another cure, so I could get two more if you did it. If it was striker, if it was a lightning strike or something, yeah. All right, well, let's uh, see if these new cards can actually do something in this matchup. I'm pretty sure if it resolves, you're just going to Soul-Tie Charm it, but I can dream that I can run away with the game. That's fair. Uh, my hand's pretty great. Love it. Top. I'm keeping a mountain for the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I got a couple lands coming to play tab, so we're going to start playing those and say go. Go. <laughs> Well, he is very likely to play something on turn three, so we're going to play this and say go. Raise the alarms. Ha, fooled you. I had it on turn two. I mean, you, you got me. All right, we'll mm. bio blight that guy. He moved. Take Hit him that two. time. All right. <laughs> Eight. Go. I thought it was you. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot of things. All right, I'm going to go to 16. It's also stuff. All right, I guess we will take Rail Master so that doesn't get out of hand. Mm -hmm. And play this tapped. I guess we could use this card. All right, keep it on top. Here you go. Tech. All right. 14 to 20. Let's empty some Warrens. That's not what that is, but all right. But they, they live in Warrens. It's kind of. <laughs> Let's take three of them. Man, that's bad. Mm. All right, I guess we will just try to find something. Here we go. Five. I'm at nine. Getting low. Oh, this is how this deck wins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, go. Alright, well, we just got a Soul Tie Charm, try to find a Wrath before he can play that Siege, even though that Siege is gonna be very rough. <sighs> well, we didn't find it. This Bob Light's looking super embarrassing right now. Why? <laughs> I don't have a card that interacts <laughs> with that well. <laughs> you hush, you. 
Uh, yeah, so this deck probably wants more drown stars on the sideboard. Because <laughs> I, <laughs> I just, I'm just so dead. I don't even have negates to protect me from the burn spells. Well, that was your choice. You hush. That Thoughtseize was real good. It's better than a negate. You just route master me and I die. That's true. I will pass turn. Lane strike you. Okay, I'm just way dead. You're at six. You're All right, while, you, while you're, you're tapped out, I'll pass turn. <laughs> Upkeep. I'm going to... I'm going to target this with a bob Alright, I'm going to sack the soldier and target it. Okay. I'm, I'm still at six. <laughs> I'm Let's joking. hope that... Okay. Hit you. I was just waiting for people at home to be like, what? Alright. <laughs> That's what you do, right? You sack yeah, a different creature yeah, yeah. to kill right, another Alright, I'm at three. One. Hurry up. Draw? Yeah. You can't play Rabble Master. Alright, I have to reveal my morphs. <laughs> 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 I manifested your top 20 cards for yeah. you. <laughs> well, I think that uh, our match here played out exactly how it played out at the tournament, which is good. You know, I mean, it was the two masters of their decks versus us. So this is these are obviously the results that you have to focus on. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I don't, but I don't know what to say. I, we'll I didn't talk about your deck. Finals. Okay, well, we'll talk about my deck. Uh, or George deck. Uh, this deck looked really cool on paper when I first saw it, and it played really cool when I was playing it. Uh, it is definitely an interesting take on the standard blue-black control archetype. I really like the green splash. Seder Wayfinder turbos all of your delve spells, which is great. Uh, helps you hit your land drops without having a ton of lands in your deck, which means your dig through times are better, uh, things like that. And, um, I mean, even Rakshasa Secret felt like it was fine. Even Rakshasa? Oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't board the deck dealer. No, I mean just everything about the deck is just phenomenal. And the thing to keep in mind though is uh, the open in, in DC was the first weekend of the format, mm. and so now we're a couple weeks in, and things are looking a little bit different than this. But the the thing to keep in mind is that this was a very good looking deck for an open weekend. Like the first weekend when uh, a release happens. Things are a little wonky. Like, I played some weird decks, and I lost to all of them. My deck beat all the good <laughs> decks and lost to all the random decks Yeah, in the, the old Team or Ascendancy combo deck? Team or Ascendancy. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I lost to Obnixilis. Uh, wow, Obnixilis. No, that's... yeah, it was. You were thinking I was going to say a wrong card. Like, you're like, that's not. Yeah, that's I was like, not, that's not. Oh, oh, the one that I've never seen in play yeah, before. Same with Archetype of Endurance. It was a combo. Oh, dude, no, Archetype of Endurance is great. Yep. Spear pig. <laughs> yeah, Draka Mystic. See, I got beat by a lot of random stuff, but it was because my deck was designed for the decks I thought were going to show up. Uh, Gerard built a very good-looking deck that played, like, really well against whatever. He, he could adapt to all the randomness from the tournament. Mm. He had all the cards, Negates, Thought Seizes, Rosh Hashanah Secrets even. Like, he was on the same top end. It just took him longer for me, mm. or took it longer for him to get to uh, Uganez as opposed to my, like, trying to get there turn four. But uh, it looks like a really good deck, and you know, props to him for, uh, you know, coming with a very unique deck, writing about it the week before the open, and still winning the tournament. Yep. I love the stories when when they have their deck early enough. Like if I had it early enough, I would. But you know me, I'm I'm through until the end. Yeah. But uh, I know. over on Danny's side, uh, this looks like a very good red white deck. Uh, oh, I I played against Danny in the actual tournament, and I was playing the green black constellation deck, and game three I just died on turn five. He just he just had like a really solid curve. Mm -hmm. He played like Monastery Mentor into like Mentor Stoke the Flames into Untapped Double Lightning Strike you. Wow. So that was cool. Cool. I say cool. <laughs> but no, I mean his his deck was like really really awesome and uh he 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 played it well and uh he made it all the way to the finals, so that's awesome. Yeah. Uh but yeah, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh so now, you know, click over. The Pro Tour's going on. You know, root for, you know, team versus videos. Yeah. We're not actually team versus videos. We're just the guys that make the versus videos that play at the Pro Tour. But we're all on the same team. Yeah. Except for CVM because he's not there. I always have to have the daggers, don't I? Yeah. You just constantly have you to. You could just. just I'm yeah. like a spy from TF2. I just always have to dagger people. Even though I hate being the spy. I don't spy think anyone player. except you has ever played Team Fortress 2. Get them, boys. <laughs> Get them. All right. Anyway, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this weekend, and join us next weekend for some eternal formats. We'll be playing some Modern and Legacy. Modern's not really eternal, but it's, it's definitely enough. eternal. It's close enough. It's not.
What? It's not. It's every year of Magic since I started. Except so it's Brad Turnal. It's it's a year. It's it's a year younger than me. Paternal. My Magic career, at right. least. Bye, guys. Mm-hmm. I'm dancing on my own. Dancing on my own. Make the moves up as I go. Moves up as I go. And that's what they don't know. Mm-hmm. That's what they don't know. Mm-hmm. But I keep cruising. Can't stop. That's how you do it. That's how real actors do it. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another magic show. <laughs> I didn't even do that one on purpose. All right. <laughs> Monster makes you die early. Well, there goes that endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> we can't use this, can we? No, we have to start over. Because we were very racist and very sexist. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day today, boy. Yep. <laughs> that title's a spy. <laughs> <laughs>